What is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you saw the title and you were thinking to yourself, maybe this is kind of a niche topic and you're wondering if it's something that's actually going to be interesting, I assure you that I'm approaching this topic from two points of view. The first is basically the importance of suit wearing and the culture of suit wearing in Japan. And then I'm going to get into the details of how to actually purchase or get your own suit or suits in Japan once you're here. I'm going to talk about what the advantages of getting them here might be versus getting them in your home country. If you're going to find yourself needing to function in Japanese society either by attending any events here or you're going to live and work here in some capacity, you're probably going to need a suit. So that's what today's topic is about and as far as I can tell, I have not found anything on YouTube in English talking about suit buying in Japan. So. X chapter exclusive today. Let's get it. Well, if you've been following the channel, you know that I am really close to a thousand subscribers and when I hit that, I'm going to go off on a special adventure. More details on that later. But for now, if you are not in the family of subscribers and you are interested in content about Japan, living in Japan as a foreigner, Japanese life, society and culture, or practical advice like the video that I'm going to be doing today, I ask that you join us and I drop a new video every single Friday so you get constant content, updates, and you will also get the occasional video midweek that will drop usually on Wednesdays or Thursdays like a driving video or the other kind of weird half of my channel or not weird but unrelated half which is my love of sneakers. So my sneakerhead videos, those come up sometime in the midweek usually. So please look for that and thank you for subscribing if that's your thing. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into it. First of all, Japan compared to most other nations at this point in time is still a pretty formal country. Basically, suit wearing is still very much the norm. If you've been to Tokyo, you've seen the salarymen walking around and riding the trains all in suits and ties. And you'll actually be surprised at the number of jobs in Japan that require a suit and tie that have long ago, in America at least, no longer required such a dress code. For example, I did work for six months as a cram school teacher teaching English to elementary school age kids. So I'm dancing and singing and playing games in a coat and tie every single day because that was the uniform of the business I was working for. So the fact that suits are ordinary office and business wear means you're probably going to need more than one, probably a whole set of one for each day of the week perhaps. And you're probably going to have to buy more suits while you're living in Japan as it won't be convenient always to go back to your home country to get them. So we'll get into the buying of suits in a moment. But basically the bottom line is if you are living and working in Japan in any capacity or even just visiting for special events, you're going to need a suit. That includes for formal occasions, whereas in the US, even weddings and funerals have gotten somewhat casual. In Japan, a suit is still required. Luckily, what's required in those cases is a black suit, and the same black suit can be used for both wedding and funeral. All you have to do is change the color of the tie. White ties for weddings, black ties for funerals. So that's convenient, only one suit needed for that sort of occasion. Japan loves uniforms. It is a uniform country. And the Saruriman suit is no different. Basically, you're going to see pretty much nothing but conservative cut suits in conservative colors like dark blue, dark gray, black, maybe light gray in the spring and summertime, but pretty much conservative suits, not really a lot of suits for fashion. You do have Japanese who are lovers of men's wear and men's fashion and you can find a variety of suits here but the standard suit is not going to be all that interesting. Standard gray and blue and black that kind of thing. 
So essentially, just get used to the idea that Japan is a more formal country and you're probably going to find yourself wearing a suit or at least a coat and tie on a much larger basis. So, should you buy a suit before you come to Japan or should you actually buy them when you get here? Now, first and foremost, one of the big issues is going to be sizing. If you are a bigger guy and you're not, you don't have an Asian build essentially, it might be trouble to find sizing here. There are big and tall stores here, but you pretty much have to look for those in larger cities. Now I'm gonna basically go over this by talking about the two ways that I've purchased suits in Japan. I'm pretty average size. I'm 5'9 and pretty average build. So for me, it's not that difficult to find suits that fit me here. I wanna start off by saying that if you're looking just for like a coat, maybe you have slacks and you just need some coats and ties, I highly recommend secondhand or vintage shops because you can find coats that are in great condition because secondhand shops here really cultivate their wares. It's not like you're sorting through all kinds of bad smelling, you know, sorting out the ones that have holes, that kind of thing, like you might find in a Goodwill in the US, for example. No, if a secondhand store has it on their rack, it's probably pretty good condition. And you can get a lot of brand names and really good, well-made jackets from uh, natural fiber materials, etc., for really cheap. One of my favorite jackets that I wear all the time, I paid a thousand yen for on Yahoo Auctions because I knew my measurements, found the jacket, bought it, and haven't regretted that at all. Now notice I'm talking only about jackets. Getting suits at secondhand stores, even for me, isn't really possible. The pants never fit. To get a suit that fits you, you're probably gonna have to go and have a suit fitted to you in an actual store. Secondhand doesn't work for someone even like me. I have a coworker from Australia. He's a little bit shorter and a lot more slender than I am. He's found a couple really nice secondhand suits that he barely paid anything for. But unless you've got that thinner Asian build, it's not going to be easy. Jackets, sure, but uh, pants are another matter. So what is the most common and perhaps easiest way to get a suit in Japan? Well, I would recommend going to a shop like Aoki or Aoyama. Those two companies have a lot of advantages going for them. For example, the first advantage is they're everywhere. The first town I lived in in Japan was 50,000 people and it, that town had both an Aoki and an Aoyama there. So finding a suit in a mid-sized city is not going to be difficult at all. Basically, they're all over the country. Aoki once bragged in a press release that they sell more suits than any other company anywhere in the world. And I totally believe it. When you've got the constant demand for the Saturday man uniform, basically you need all these men in their suits for their office work and businesses at a rate that's much higher than most countries these days. It makes sense that these suit suppliers are going to sell a lot of suits. So the first advantage of an Aoki or an Aoyama is they're convenient. They're pretty much everywhere. The second advantage is you're going to go into that shop and you're going to walk out with an appropriate suit for Japan. They're not going to sell you anything that's outlandish or anything that's like a fashion suit. It's going to be the type of suit that you're going to be able to go to the office and no one is going to criticize you for having the wrong uniform on. The suit I'm wearing today, actually not very appropriate for an office environment. I had to get this at a different type of store and we'll get to that in a moment. The third advantage of an Aoki or Aoyama suit is that it is inexpensive. They're usually running some kind of two for one deal, which means if you ever walk into an Aoki or Aoyama and they are not running two for one, turn around, leave and come back like two days later. They'll be running one then. So what do you end up spending? Well, 
typically in a two for one deal you're going to spend about 20,000 to 40,000 yen or 200 to 400 dollars so for the sake of easy math let's say 300 dollars so you've got 150 dollar suit two of them right that is not a bad deal in the world of suits and it's going to be completely appropriate for the Japanese business or office environment. Now, what are the disadvantages of an Aoki or Aoyama suit? Well, disadvantage number one, again, if you are a big and tall size or some, you have some kind of sizing issue, like you know, some guys have one shoulder that is significantly lower than the other, for example, those kind of extra tailoring details are going to be difficult larger sizes you're not going to find them in your typical aoki you're going to have to go to a big and tall store next disadvantage is if you're interested in something more fashionable or fashion forward or just a suit that you want to have fun wearing like the one i have on now you're not going to be able to find it there and third and foremost the double-edged sword of an inexpensive suit great you didn't have to spend a lot of money on it but it's a cheap suit what makes an aoki suit cheap or an aoyama suit cheap First of all, they are going to be synthetic fibers rather than natural, polyester, rayon and the like. And if you know anything about polyester suits, after wearing them for a number of years, they tend to start to look shiny, like at the elbows, at the lower back where you've been sitting, and it's really easy to spot a cheap polyester suit because of those shiny patches. Also the suits will be a fused, what they call a fused construction. So they're basically glued together. And what happens with the Japanese really hot and humid summers followed by cold and dry winters is that glue begins to separate and you get bubbles in the jackets. You get this bubble that's kind of like the bubble you see in the crust of a pizza, for example and you'll get it in the shoulders or in the chest area and it's one of those things that once you see it you cannot unsee it. So in the end you have a suit that is maybe good for I don't know two to four years depending on how much you wear it and how quickly it deteriorates. So yeah you didn't spend much money but the problem is you're going to have to go back relatively soon and buy another one. Now many of you are probably wondering how difficult or easy is it when it comes to language? If your Japanese isn't very good, are you going to be able to get a suit easily or not? And the truth is, it is a pretty easy process, even if your Japanese is not very good. First of all, you don't have to worry about any kind of hidden fees. Everything is priced in a way that you know what you're getting, you know what you're paying for. There aren't going to be any surprises in that regard. The salespeople are very helpful. Essentially, you go into an Aoki or Aoyama, you find a suit that appeals to you, you pick it off the rack, you'll do a fitting where they will adjust the sleeves and the cuffs of the pants, and they might ask you if you want some extras, like, do you want your name embroidered on the inside, which is usually a free service, and, you know, if you want a second pair of trousers and maybe pay a little bit of extra for that, that sort of thing but it's really an easy process and you're not going to get to the end of it all and suddenly it's way more expensive than you thought it was going to be it's very straightforward and it's easy to understand i bought my first suits here back when i really had no japanese ability at all so i had no trouble then and i think you would have no trouble as well so that's a very good thing but now say you want to have a nicer suit. You want to get something that's actually made with natural materials, something that has a better construction that's going to last longer. Now of course you're going to pay more for that and that's what I was looking into when I purchased the suit I'm wearing now. So what I have on here is an order made suit which is kind of the next step up. No it's not a tailored fully done bespoke suit where everything is measured to your exact body type. I don't have the money for that. I mean, you can get bespoke suits in Japan. There are really amazing tailors here, but I don't exactly have the two to four grand or more that I might need to go through that process. Maybe someday. But the next step up that I did take was the order make. And essentially what that is, is you go in and you start off with 
the fabric. You go in and basically the store has all of these cubbies with fabric in it and you get to choose the color and the weave and the make that you really want and it's going to be all of the selections with natural materials then you get to really customize absolutely everything which is really fun if you're into like creating your own look okay so as I was saying the advantage of a order make suit is you start with the fabric and you're able to choose from a wide selection of all natural fabrics and I went with a company called Ginza Global Style and I will get to whether I recommend them or not in a moment but after you choose your fabric they're going to come out with a booklet of all the options and you're basically choosing everything about the suit you choose the buttons you choose the lining material you choose the color of the lining you choose all of the the cut of the suit they had like an Italian cut or a British cut or an American cut suit depending on the style you're going for and basically the whole process for me was quite a bit of fun I enjoyed that part and again like an Aoki or Aoyama it was very easy to tell what was going on even if your Japanese is not all that great everything is priced clearly all of the options are clearly marked whether it's included in the original price or if you're going to pay extra for something and of course the staff is pretty good at helping you through the process because they're pretty professional at their job now after you've been fitted with a sort of generic sizing suit that they have there for you because you know you're not actually pulling a suit that you're going to keep yourself off the rack they send off for the suit to be made in a factory somewhere and it comes back with all the specifications that you ordered and you get a suit like I'm wearing today and I also got a two for one deal at this time it was a two you know buy one get the second one half off and of course it was more expensive than an Aoki or Aoyama which is to be expected because you're paying more for the fabric you're paying more for the construction it's not a fused suit this is not a glued suit this is a half canvas suit they offered half canvas or full canvas I went with the cheaper half canvas but the advantage is you won't get those bubbles of a fused suit and it will drape more nicely on your body so it just looks better overall now would I actually go and recommend this particular company I'm afraid not because in the end I'm not really happy with the sizing that I ended up with it is not really great in terms of across the back basically the armholes and the legs are designed again for a more slender Asian body and as a result the sleeves and the legs don't wear very naturally on my frame and they are tight in a couple of places that I you know it's just not as comfortable as I would like it to be now that's not to say you can't get a suit that fits you in Japan because I have taken off the rack suits from Aoki for example and they fit great even getting compliments about how well they seem to fit so again if you have an average build you probably can pull it off but it's not you know there's a good chance it won't be perfect would I go order make again yes because I do want a higher quality suit and I paid what ended up being about $450 per suit so $900 for the two suits which again is not a ridiculous price in the world of suits especially not for one that's a half canvas and all natural fiber materials so I'm pretty happy with the price overall especially if it will last well past the two three four years that an Aoki suit typically does if that's the case then I will have gotten my money's worth maybe even more than my money's worth we'll see obviously I just got the suits so I can't speak to the longevity of them yet but if that's something that sounds like a better deal to you then maybe order make is the way to go just you know there's several other companies out there and if you're worried about size and fitting feel free to shop around get the fit that really works for you so I've gone over the process of getting a suit in a off-the-rack shop and in an order make situation 
I feel like I did kind of rush through the content a little bit, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. And I hope that you got something useful out of this video. Again, if you did, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I feel like I'm forgetting something major, but hey, I'm gonna call it a wrap and thank you very much for watching this particular video and I will catch you next time. Peace.